Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. If you want to use your deck station as a replacement of your PC, or oh, well and good, you can browse, you can read your emails, you can watch videos, you can listen to your music and etc. You can do a word processing, spreadsheets, and all that good stuff, um, which I covered in the previous videos. But what if um, you want to print? Well, printing is available for the deck station. Um, if you have a, a supported printer, what I mean by supported printer is your printer can be connected to uh, your Wi-Fi, your your internet network, your home network. So I'm I'm gonna use my printer, which is Epson. Oh, sorry, it's Canon MX four nine five. So it is. It looks like like this. This is my printer. It's it has a Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, Ethernet connectivity. So that basically means I can plug in the the wired cable and I have well pretty much that's it and it's very easy to connect to your home network that's all I had to do is um, initiate Wi-Fi connection with, with uh, this printer inside his settings and then go and find the VPS button on my router press that for five seconds come back to a printer press OK that's it connected no problems so this one right now is here uh, just there in a the corner I don't need any other cables a part of power going from a wall wall socket and right now it's connected to my Wi-Fi and I know IP address this is an important you need to know IP address just in case because uh, during this video and uh, some of the parts you might need to enter your IP address of the printer um, right your printer is connected to a home network next thing you need to go to Google Play Store and search for your printer program so printer apps and it gives you a bunch of apps starting from like HP Epson Canon etc you need to find yours here mine's a Canon so I went and I searched for this and I downloaded installed this app which is Canon print inject program so I've opened up and this is how it looks like at the top I, I had no printer saying no printer so what I had to do I had to go to this icon top left hand corner press on there and on the bottom press register printer this app then scanning my Wi-Fi network and looking for all for all the printers so as soon as it's found the printer it gives me the list and it tells me the IP address of the printer which you need to take a note just in case you never know you might need the IP address in, the, in a, another step guides uh, so take the note of his printer the print IP address so I know that mine's ending with 240 so then I clicked on this printer, said OK, add, and right now I have a printer here. So I can photo print from my deck station to a printer. I can send a document to be printed to my printer, uh, and I can scan it. So right now I currently have a small, like a manual um, book inside the, on the glass to scan. So if I click scan, then I'm going to wait until the scanner kicks in and gives me a result. Expect one thing. Um, well, actually, don't expect this printer to or this kind of setup works super fast. Because, come on, it's, it's had to go, a signal needs to go through all your home network and then to a print, and then printer needs to start scanning. So, sometimes it takes a bit, a bit of time. So, uh, be patient. But I can hear printer is going. The, the, the scanning, scanning bar is probably moving across now. And in any second, I should get an image on my screen. And here we are, that's an image, so. As you can see, that's the thing scanned. So I can scan again, or I can exit, and by exiting it says, your file is being saved to storage, emulated zero Canon LJ scanned images, okay? And from here I can share it using any other Android app, or at the menus I'm just gonna say delete, because I don't want that to be on my phone. So that's it, scanning done. So that's happening within the uh, within the app. But what if you're actually doing something and you wanna print? So if I'll go to my Office Programs, click New, and this is basically a Hopcon um, Office Program, which I covered previously in a, one of my videos. And let's say I'm gonna write today is Sunday, so Sunday, 15th April. 2018 printing is amazing 
So I say, okay, that's done. And if I'll press Control P on my keyboard, I press Control P, if that's what you expect if you're using a Windows computer, Control P in the Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, or Outlook acts as a um, command to print. So it says all document, whole document, partial, etc. I'm going to say print. And this opens a built-in printing setup within Android phones. So at the moment at the top it says it's found my printer, but if it can find anything here, what you need to do, you need to click all printers, add a printer, and then by here you will see your printer's um, print service app that you need to download. Obviously I already downloaded and installed, but basically you're going to click on something like this and it's just going to tell you all these things. It's going to give you your printer and um, your printer, your setup. Um, I will install cloud printing as well, Google Cloud Print. What that does basically, I'll be able to print anything from anywhere in the world to my home printer using this cloud print service. So I'm going to install that as well. So right now I have both of these programs installed. So if I'll go back to, uh, so right now I have cloud printer. You click to add the printer. That's fine. It scans my Wi-Fi and it should detect my printer in my Wi-Fi area or in my home network. Not sure if that's going to happen because previously before I started recording this video I had a couple of hiccups so uh, I had to s start recording from scratch. Right now it says it can detect in the printers. So manage printers. Uh, okay. Owned by me. That's the printer I need to add. Canon. Yes. Yes. Uh, private so yeah, it is it is being detected. I don't know why it is printer ID and etc. Printers offline. No, printer is not offline. So um I sure want to cloud away printer, yes. So um why why add a printer? It needs to detect the printer. Anyway, this is a bit of faffing. Um no printer to add. Fine, no problem. Does it matter? Okay, I have this one. It's popped up all this. So save to my cloud drives or should I print to a local printer? So right now I selected the Canon. Let's see if I have a paper in. Yeah, and I'm going to start press print. Let's see if it's going to print. Basically, this message just tells you that the information you're about to send to a printer will go through a lot of servers. So if you're sending something very high sensitive information, is not the way to do. Basically, that's what they tell you. If you're sending something very high sensitive information to a printer, you need to be careful that it can be uh, detected. Okay, it's going for it. And it's printed. And it says, Sunday 15th of April, printing is amazing. Okay, um, what I'll do is I'll make a text bolder and let's say increase to 32. So control P, print. Right now uh, I'm going to select, let's say the actual uh, printing service. It's it's a bit of a trial and error, but believe me, it's, it's not as hard as you think. You just need to install a couple apps, see if they detect. Sometimes you might need to restart the printer. Uh, basically unplug from a power socket and plug it back in. Confirmation send survey. Okay, I agree. So right now it's sending the data to a printer and it should print or should start printing again. Um, from experience or from a test that I done before I started recording this video, the printing is nine, nine times after 10 will start printing. That's what I tried to say. <coughs> so right now it's probably <coughs> On LCD it says printing, so what that means is taking the signal receiving from the X station and it's right now printing. Slowly but printing. Okay, it's printed nearly everything. My MAC address and etc. So I'm gonna try to because this is a, a test page that I printed previously. So I'm gonna cover the information that you don't need to know. But that's it, that's it. It says here. Sunday, 15th, obviously the webcam is does a mirror recording, but they, it, it is, it's working, it's printing. Okay then, let's try to print something else. Let's say, 
let's go to a page let's go to Wikipedia Wikipedia let's try to print the website I never tried that before so this is basically what you see your face first people as I am because I never tried to pr print this so um, is the control P working okay right so it's one page I'm gonna send to my printer let's see if I have blank papers okay um, what else I can set up here so I'm gonna say send to a printer press print and it's printing the top page or title page of Wikipedia as soon as I enter that's the page it's gonna print so let's see what is showing now it says printing and it's going for it okay it stopped so basically it's, it's picked up the page so it knows that the paper is loaded and now um, it's taking all the signal from a deck station sending to a printer and then it should start printing any second okay still still thinking still thinking like I said in the beginning of the video, it's not as fast as you would get when the print is connected directly with a cable to a Windows PC. Nothing. And I got an error message. Print error Wikipedia, print failed. Print spooler, restart. Printing Wikipedia, so we're sending a second page. Or second attempt. Because I never ever try to print off directly off the browser. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. If you think that I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comment section below if I'm doing something wrong. But basically, it is working. Okay, picked up the paper. It's trying to get all the information from the deck station again. And let's see. Hold on, let me get my cat back, uh, um, microphone. Um let's see let's see let's see if it's gonna okay still waiting and on the screen it says printing and it's just constantly loading and loading and loading mm. no okay is something not right with the printing of the web page You know what, let's try one more time. So click on here, it said print. And I'm gonna say print to my printer via cloud. And press print. Okay, now it's working. Sort of. It's okay, it's, it's still doing something. All right, okay, so while it's printing, um, so setting up process is connect your net, your printer to your home network you can connect using wi-fi or cable as long as you have a local ip address i'm using a wi-fi connection because i don't have an ethernet cable long enough to reach my printer so i'm using a wi-fi connection take a note of ip address just in case you never know might you might need it then you need to go to google play store and search for your printer so just search for example let's say you you have epson epson printer and look for your printer's manufacturer's app. So like Epson will be this. Then if you have a printer brother, brother printer, print and scan print app, you go download this. If you have Canon, obviously like I, if you have a kind like I do, so Canon printer, go and download this. Then what you need to do, Canon print service, service app, the same you need to do if you have Epson or Brother. When you have all this, set everything up, and then you'll be able to print Wikipedia. And it's actually printed in color. Fair play. I thought I had no more. So this image, as you see, for example, this image, this like a Titanic. So this is obviously the webcam. I need to do something about because the webcam is recording a mirror. For, but yeah, it's printed. So here we are, printer work on a deck station. This is another, like it's a one more step th closer 
for a deck station to becoming a one-stop shop if you want to um, change your PC so the phone is basically your PC now thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you think that what I said is bullshit tell me in the comment section why um, this is just basically um, the way to print I um, I think I covered everything what you need to know if you want to set all this up if you think that I missed something please let me know in the comment section below and if you your comment will basically cover something that I missed I will pin the comment as the highest at the top so other people will see exactly what you're trying to say um thank you very much for watching like always don't forget to click like subscribe that helps me a lot and i'll see you in another video when i'm trying go some apps and games and all good things on android os thank you and goodbye